Hey everybody, it's Annette Green here, kind of representing Elizabeth Craft Designs today in my Planner Essentials December Day by Day album. Uh, I want to take you through this one. It's completely finished now and share some tips, a little bit of tricks, little techniques, and um, just so you can get an idea if you've never done one of these before, the, you know, the kinds of things that at least I did that might inspire you or give you some ideas. So what is a December daily, December day by day? It's um, something that's been around for quite a few years where um, scrapbookers and those type of memory keepers have come up with the concept of taking time out in the most busy month of the year and taking a breath and savoring every day. So you take a photo every day, maybe a couple of photos every day, and then you just jot something down from that day, something that you're grateful for, something that happened, something that you wanna remember. And, um, and that's simply it. It's just to kind of keep you mindful when it's usually a very stressful time of the year. And I found that to be very true. Now I got my pages ready ahead of time. Uh, so late November, I was working on my pages so that when December 1st hit, all I had to do is pop in the photos. That was the idea in theory it was great. However, I got about mm, to tw the day 20 or 21 and I found that I just got so busy I had to put this away. And that's why I'm posting a video in the middle of January about December day by day. So once again, here's my big tub of all my Elizabeth Craft Designs Planner Essentials dies and stamp sets. I just have them in this big clear bin that happens to be the perfect size for the way that I like to store my dies. I am going to do a complete video on die storage, uh, just that alone because I feel like there's a lot to learn and some great tips that I've picked up on that I'd love to share with you. But these are basically the Planner Essentials dies that I have put into these large Sizzix frosty envelopes that protect them and I've added the magnet back there. So I have used, gosh, so many of these in my December day by day, maybe all of them. And this is prior to the 2020 new release that just came out, but the stamp sets as well, they're wonderful. So I probably used a little bit from all of these stamp sets, but you know what? You don't have to have all those things if you wanna do a December daily. You just need some cardstock or paper and something to put them in and a camera. So let me take you through this a little closer so you can kind of get some ideas of what I did. Okay, uh, so as you can see, I have bound my December day by day with these large uh, sort of brass, antique brass rings. These come from extra tag packages from Graphic 45. Uh, I've got an entire basket over here with like a million of these left over because a lot of times I'll use the tags but not the rings. And I was not intending to do that in the beginning. I was planning to use one of Elizabeth Craft Design's planner covers, which are great. However, you can see by the size of the ring and the size of my album that that just wasn't going to happen. So that's why I put the rings in there. I would have loved for it to been all protected in a, an actual book, but uh, I made do with what I had here. So as you can see, everything that you'll see that's been die cut, it's all from those dies, uh, right down to these tags and these great shapes. And then most of the stamping that you see is also from that bin I showed you from Elizabeth Crafts. So you'll even see there's some background stamping on this cardstock, and the date here is stamped. But I mean, all these great edges and even those hole reinforcers, that's all from Elizabeth Crafts Planner Essentials die sets. So there's my cover. There's a little picture of Suki with the big Santa in front of our neighborhood. Okay, and every time I start a day, I use, this is also one of the dies, I use the number of the day. So this would be December 1st. And then I may write a little something or add the date and then include some pictures. And I mean, this came together so easily because of the dies. And I'll show you what I do with my photos to print them out. It's these smaller sizes rather than like four by six in a bit. But there's my first spread. And then this one has a little kind of flap in the middle, has this great ticket edge here to divide the two. So that's just a great place to put more journaling or maybe another photo. In my case, it was more journaling. 
and then photos here. Some of the dies that you see are just some of my older favorites from Elizabeth Crafts, like these mittens here are from Josette that I've had for a couple of years. And this was as well, this wonderful sled, that was one of Josette's, and I'm not sure if it's still available, but a wonderful die that I've probably used for a long time. So you can see there's a lot of collaging with stamping in the background. This is just tan cardstock back here. Sometimes it's a full sheet of paper behind a particular element like this one. That's Graphic 45's Joy to the World paper, which is kind of what I've used whenever you see paper pieces or fussy cuts. That's where those have come from, from Graphic 45, Joy to the World. And here we have a pocket page. These are great. I've just utilized one of these and covered up the holes. This is almost like a bookmark in my opinion, but it could be a little short insert page if I had not covered up the holes, something like this. So this is day three, and there's my Jamie and her cute little hat during the Christmas break. And so you can see all these great photo, uh, not photo corners, but these hole reinforcers. Um, if you saw the detail up close, you'd see there's some stitching even in those. They're so detailed and great. That's what I love. Okay, that's day three. And here is, here's a situation where we have some flaps, little ticket, like tag flaps going sideways. This is day four, me and my buddy Tiffany, we walk together in the early morning before she has to go to work. So it was very cold this particular morning. And then here I have the Life is Good sticker because I just bought this new Life is Good shirt that says Peace Love Dogs, which I love. But again, some stamp, some stamping, some die cuts from Josette from a while back and some more stamping down here and the background paper is the Graphic 45. This is one of my new favorites right here, this truck. And I know it's very trendy this year, but I'll probably use it forever. I just love the truck with the Christmas tree in it. So this is day six and um, this is a funny picture because it's knitted mushrooms, which was a great gift that I purchased from a very talented Etsy seller who's a friend of mine, Megan Howell, and her Instagram is Sassafras Tea. So you'll have to look her up, but um, I bought those from her because my daughter Jamie loves mushrooms. She's all into it. And um, I gave her those for Christmas. And then here's a little Christmas tree page, which is super fun. And I just did some journaling on the back of that one. And day seven, was getting ready for a class. So I was talking about that a little bit and I have a picture here of Suki, my, my Sheltie. She's hiding under the desk because I'm running the vacuum cleaner. So, I mean, you know, it's not like big momentous things that are happening every day. It's just my day-to-day -day life during December. Uh, and then there will be some fun things that, that we do and that was go to the boat parade because we live in Florida. They do a Christmas parade on boats in the water. And there's this fabulous ugly sweater dye from Josette, which I love and I use all the time. So this is just a fun little in-between tag page. And then there we are watching the boat parade, my husband and I. And then my class that I had, it was my last class of the year, so I thought it was uh, very sentimental and I want to mention it here. That was day nine. And then this one is great. I knew that I wanted to do a page about baking cookies during Christmas time. And I knew that Jamie was wanting me to wait for her to come home from her break so we could do that together. So I got the page all ready and then I took the pictures later. But I mean, I just included her acting silly, rolling out the cookie dough, and then a couple pictures of our favorite cookies that we like to make every year. Okay, and here's day 11 and 12. And as you can see, Suki is wearing her cone right there. She had a little problem with her tail and she had to go to the vet. Um, and as you can see, I write family because she's my baby. And then day 12 is just this fun little manicure that I had here. So I felt like that made me feel special and in the holiday spirit, so I took a picture of it. Why not? So lots of stamping in the background here. This is one of my favorite pages actually. And this is a little die cut um, that, of a die that I already had. 
But you know, like this is just the back of an ephemera card from Graphic 45 and it's a great place to journal. But then all this great stamping in the background, it's just fun and it dresses up a page without having to use a full sheet of pattern paper. Day 13 and 14 is kind of my coffee theme day. So there's me driving Suki in the car. She loves to go riding in the car when I go to Starbucks and stuff. So I uh, have some little coffee cup dies over there. And then I saved my small Starbucks cup that I had and I actually worked it into a page. Like I glued two cups together after I flattened them all out. And those Christmas cups are great because they're in the reds and the greens. So I glued them together and where we saw the seam of the two coming together, I put this great little ball fringe here and then just made a page out of it. The Starbucks logo's there, that's great. And then there's a couple of just random pictures of things from the day. So in the back of here, again, more coffee, meeting for friends, having coffee. And then there's a picture of Jamie and I with this cute little reindeer dye from Josette. So this is day 16 over here, and it just says Merry Moments, because it's true. There's no journaling, it's just us hanging out that day. Okay, 17 and 18, 19 and 20 is all here. So 17's got this pull-out tag in a pocket, which is one of the dies. And then, you know, just for a change, I journaled this one with white pen. Put this little topper on here. This little snowflake came from the, I think, the uh, ugly sweater die. So, you know, mixing and matching is always great. And then just random things that I had, like this, this is like a velvet holly leaf. Uh, I just had that in my stash, so I put it to good use and I put it there. I felt like I needed something there. Sometimes I've used washi tape here instead of the die and cut out paper. I just use washi tape to dress up that and sometimes I've used chipboard frames from leftovers from my Joy to the World collection. And then I go on to this whole thing about how different our Christmas was this year because we sold, we're getting ready to downsize and move, so we sold a lot of our Christmas stuff, including our big, tall, wonderful Christmas tree. So we had a little three foot, not that little, but small Christmas tree, three foot this year. So I, you know, talk about that. And then having coffee with my friend Lisa. And then here's just a really nice picture of Jamie. I thought she was talking with my parents at Christmas time and they were asking her all about school and I just thought she looked really kind of pretty there and I talk about how much I enjoy having her home for the holiday time. And then of course our little family, including Suki, that was our Christmas picture that we put into all of our Christmas cards, which is what I mentioned here in this cute little tag insert that has these little guys. So that was a few days before Christmas. And then this one is another one of those little partial page uh, dies, but I hinged it with another partial page die, covered up the holes that were intended there, and made sort of um, just this interactive flap. So this has 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And here's what's funny is sometimes you get so busy, you forget to take a picture. And that's what I say here. We had our holiday Christmas party with our neighborhood last that night. And um, I had the opportunity to take a million pictures and I took zero because I was just so busy talking with everybody and having a good time. So that happens too. <laughs> okay, so the 24th, I just, you know, sometimes you just didn't take a picture or you didn't think about it. Um, so the day after I realized, you know, oh, I should take pictures of my favorite little things that I have made that I put out at Christmas time. And then I picked my favorite, which was this little Victorian mansion that I made at one point. It's all made of paper and cardstock. And I just put my favorite creation on the tag. And then Paul walked in on Christmas Eve while I was getting all the food ready for people to come over the next day. And he had surprised me with flowers. So that was nice. And then the 25th, of course, is Christmas Day. And it was a very small get together this time because of our family situation. Uh, just my parents came over. So there they are with, with Jamie and Suki and me and Paul. And then this cute little Santa, which is also from Josette, which I love that little guy. 
and then I had intended to do the entire month of December, but I mean, it just got so thick. I was afraid I just couldn't fit it. So that's where I stopped. Okay, and that's a look at my book. I hope you like that. And then I, I told you I was gonna mention about printing out my photos. I do have one of those little sprocket printers, but um, it really only does like a two by three. And sometimes you need one a little bigger or a different orientation or you need a square. So rather than fiddle around with that, I just, um, I'm fairly handy in Photoshop. And so I take all my photos and I gang them up on an eight and a half by 11 sheet based on the size I know I need. I resize them here. Sometimes I'll do duplicates um, if I have extra space and I'm afraid if I cut it wrong, you know, I, I have to feed it through the printer again. So I just sometimes do doubles, but that's a really great tip. And this is nice, uh, like everyday photo paper, a nice quality. And then the dies, like I said before, I use these big Sizzix envelopes of frosty if it's a smaller die of course i use a smaller um, envelope i don't have any right here to show you but sizzix does carry a smaller size envelope too um, and then these magnets i glue right onto their packaging and the packaging is great you guys uh, because it gives you ideas it shows you what kind of elements are in this particular die set and i'm quite sure that these are esther's designs on all of these because she's designed this whole planner essentials line so there's some inspiration always there. But as you can see, I mean, all, right down to the physical page with the tab edge, that's a die. So you can use all your favorite paper. You could use plain cardstock and really dress it up. Um, you know, you just go crazy. So I do, that. that's my December daily. And... I'm sure that some of you may have seen this before, but this is my regular planner that I use as a regular, you know, like a date book. So I've used all the dies as well, but I mainly focus those dies on the month divider pages. But you can see that each one of them is one of those tab pages there, just like I showed you. And the tabs stagger according to the, um, the die set that you purchased. So they're great and you know I've mixed and matched all kinds of things in this particular one but I will put a link to the video on this one if you want to see it if you haven't seen it yet this one um, I was showing how to make your own planner I thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a little something or at least were inspired a little bit to do your own December day by day thanks again guys have a great day